Hi, my dears. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well today. And uh, here I am with another reading for us. And let us check what are they saying about you. So, my dear group number one, you are going to have these white quartz. All right. So, and this will be your card. Group number two, you are going to have this amethyst and this will be your card. Group number three, you are going to have this aventurine and this will be your card. Alright my loves, so let us check what are they saying about you. Take this time for you, my dears, to connect with your Divine Feminine and we are going to see together what are they saying about you. See in your readings. Bye! Dear group number one, so what are they saying about you? Now, they are saying that you are someone that really dives deep into the knowledge, that you are someone that doesn't like to stay just in superficial, that you enjoy to search into the soul of people. When you decided to search into what you want, you do it. And you're not going to move unless you see what you want to see. Also, there is a lot here about knowledge. You can be very um, attracted to knowledge. You can be someone that enjoys learning. But they are saying that you don't uh, talk about it all the time. They are saying that probably you have some secrets. And um, also the way you manifest things can be um, a way that this person or these people are not sure of how you are able to manifest what, um, everything that you do manifest. So they are saying that there is not much communication here between you two. Um, maybe because you two or you with these people, maybe you decided to do that so that you could go uh, inwards and could think more about you, could reflect more about your inner self, um, could heal even from... Um, we are always in need from these, for this um, introspection and it seems that right now you are in a phase of going inwards and um, doing this uh, introspection here that you were needing to do. Now, um, it can also be that you are uh, at the same time looking for um, other people, people that uh, can be your soul family because it might be that you feel felt lost after whatever happened here. Maybe you disconnected from this uh, person or this group of people and right now you can be searching for your uh, soul family. Now or for, from advices from people that you love, uh, for someone that can, um, you know, help you. And these people are also feeling that there is a part of you that normally is very stable, is very grounded, that right now is achieving things in another way. Uh, maybe because you don't feel uh, very, they are saying that you might not feel very connected with yourself. You might not feeling the and the prosperity and the abundance um, as you usually do. And they are saying that you are someone that you have that inside of you. For sure, you have that abundance. You know how to manifest when you want. So. It's just that um, you are walking towards uh, that self-love, self-healing. 
and um, there is they are saying that there is a certain step that you need to take because if you don't take this step you are going to feel stuck they are saying there is an, a love offer perhaps if this is about someone that you love I believe they are saying that they are waiting for your contact they are waiting that uh, for you to make the move but they know that you are very knowledgeable and there is a, a they are saying there is a need uh, for you to um, really tap into your uh, knowledge tap into that confident part of you that conquer things that manifest things and try to also tap into your inner child it might be something that they are saying that um, probably you are healing probably you are wanting to tap more into your inner child probably you are wanting to connect more with yourself but they are saying that it would be good for you to use that that uh, knowledge that you already have that um, way of manifesting things so that you can have more information about a certain thing and even with fear even with fear so that you can could make here a kind of an offer uh, to come together with this person or to try to resolve a certain matter here all right so this is if this is about a love connection if this is not about a love connection what they are saying is that you want to move towards uh, a new self you want to move towards um, someone uh, towards being someone that is not going to fear uh, connections or uh, what you want to conquer in your emotional side uh, they they are saying that even if you fear that you are going to uh, succeed because you are someone that um, when you want you can really tap into that knowledge and you can really maybe even get some resources from your past uh, from your past experiences um, so that you can can manage uh, this situation they are saying this group of people are saying that you don't know everything but you are searching you don't know everything about this situation but you are searching for it all right now um, there is also here perhaps a feeling of someone that couldn't choose something um, because they didn't know everything so perhaps you are gaining more information you are gaining more knowledge about a certain matter so that then you can really bring that knowledge into that connection with that other person or other people um, this can be talking about self-healing this can be talking about you wanting to find your new soul tribe um, and being prepared for that preparing yourself for a new phase in your life for a phase that you are going to feel protected uh, by your inner knowledge so you are moving towards that towards that fire inside of you that for some reason it was lost inside some emotional situation here with a group of people or with uh, somebody here in specific you are searching for things you're trying to fight here uh, even some doubts some fears that you might have and you're searching for uh, what you uh, want to do here
even for you are searching for your dreams there is here a situation of wanting to search for your dreams wanting to feel more confident wanting to tap uh, tapping they are saying that you are tapping into uh, this connection and integration uh, of uh, some knowledge that you have that it comes from your past from past experiences and also the the knowledge that you have right now so they they are seeing that you are a manifester it's just that something really confused you here and for some reason these people are saying that you don't know everything yet there is a knowledge yet here to to come to you and um, it is when you decide to conquer that, those fears that you are going to be able to return and um, really leave the fear behind leave the fear behind There's something here that you're not trusting, they are saying. Even if this is a love connection, if not, something that you're not trusting. Uh, and you are not wanting to choose because you're not trusting. So there is a kind of a celebration here that you're not having because you're not trusting something. There are uh, here um, a need to conquer some fears. If this is a, a relationship, they are saying that you need to uh, conquer some fear here to really fight these fears so then or instead of fighting them look at them um, try to talk with uh, this problem you know try to bring solutions into this problem that you're having the the situation the fear the um, you might be feeling out of energy because suddenly it's like my energy is um, being drained you might be feeling drained but uh, try to to understand why why are you feeling like that write it down if these people are 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 really making you feel like that write down and trust Always trust your inner guidance. Write down what is happening. Why are you feeling like that? You might be wanting to understand also why are you feeling like that? And you are not stopping the search and um, even to manifest what you want. Because I believe what you want and they are also saying you want some, something stable in your life. Emotional stable. And um, you, you were not, there is a sense here of you wanting to look for your soul fam family needing right now, even the help of other people they are saying, it might be help of your friends, help of your uh, family, because there was, even though they say that you are very, you can easily um, tap into those beautiful emotions of yours and that can it can give you some ground um, there is something here about stability that was removed in this situation and your wish fulfillment was also removed in this situation so they are saying that your wish fulfillment was removed in this situation and they are saying that right now the only way here is that um, you come in direction of hmm, understanding, reverencing. Yeah, they are saying that you mm -hmm, you are coming into the direction of wanting something stable in your life. 
So that's where you are moving into. You're not moving. Okay, that's it. You're not moving into confusion. You're not wanting to, um, to choose whatever they are putting in front of you. Uh, because there is some things that you don't know yet and you have more knowledge and you are very, very tapped into your emotions and you know um, you're not easily fooled. Though you might, okay, so that's it. Though you might have lost something here that uh, was perhaps even stable, you still have that strong emotional character that knows what they want and knows what they don't want. And you're not going towards uh, any confusion here. Where you are going towards is to a more stable uh, life, something that uh, will fulfill you in an emotional way because there was a big deception here even perhaps something that you discovered. So right, they are saying that right now you are in a manifest, in a manifest uh, way. You are in a manifest mode um, to have what you wish and to get out of uh, confusions. And by the way, you might have been having the answer to this confusion pretty soon. They are saying that you're even looking at it. You're even looking at it. Mm -hmm. All right, my dear. So let me know in the comments if this resonated. Uh, for sure, it was kind of discovering here uh, with this reading. But I believe that um, you know your way and they are saying that you do know your way. You are very powerful emotionally and uh, once you tap into that energy, you know that what you want to construct and the only thing that will make you move will be stability, will be emotional stability. And right now you might be searching for uh, some help. Uh, from your family, from your friends, and uh, not talking too much with this person or with these people. But um, they are saying there's something you don't know, but you're looking at it. You are looking at it. So let me know what is all of this about. All right, my dears, if you like, if you wish to share with me in the comments. So we are going to see each other next readings. Bye! Hi, my dear group number two, welcome to your reading. So let us check together what are they saying about you. And I really um, would like you to take this time to relax, grab a cup of tea and let's check together. What are they saying about you? First of all, I believe this has to do with a relationship and uh, something here went wrong. Uh, probably uh, there was a third party that there was someone else trying to mess with your um, connection here and uh, it can be also be that someone that you know is telling them things all right is telling them things about you and they are having this chat together they are they are talking about you so what are they saying about you? First of all, they are saying that you are growing new things in your life, that you are trying to master something here. It can be a new craft and something that you uh, even might have to do with music somehow, uh, might have to do with your intuition, uh, with some new faith, uh, some beliefs, with growing uh, Christmas, somehow came, came to my mind, I don't know why Christmas, but Christmas can also has to have to do with faith here. And uh, something that you are trying to grow in, the, in a very grounded way. And uh, it might have to do with beliefs too, with certain beliefs that are helping you to develop uh, this, this project. So you have earth, a lot of earth starting with, and um, also this green that is connected with the number eight, which is also the number 
of mat material things, concretizing things, uh, uh, coming from or taking from the number seven, which is spirituality, uh, the ideas and the knowledge that you need to have, how to manifest so that then you can really manifest. So they are seeing you doing that. You have the number eight. You have the um, the little green beings. I don't remember how you call it in, in English. That are connected to Earth uh, from mythology, for uh, from uh, philosophy, uh, Celtic philosophy, and uh, European philosophy. I don't know if. Uh, probably it was took also to America and um, and they uh, yeah these little men these little green men in some countries um, for example in my country they are also known uh, to be a little bit uh, uh, how can I say they are child would like they are child childlike and they like to make some tricks on people like uh, hide things or uh, you know, they hide in your house and they, they play some tricks and they do some tricks on people. So it might be that they are saying that you are uh, connecting with the source but you, at the same time that might be some, some uh, things that you were not expected that are happening to you but they are saying that you, were, you have a lot of strength. They are saying that you are very powerful, that you are a very sunny person, uh, or you have a very grounded self uh, value uh, established in you. And uh, you want stability. They are saying that you search for stability in your life. They are, you are a go-getter. You are someone that knows how to manifest things in a very... Um, stable stable way and uh, talking about this connection they are saying that you want something stable you don't want energies here messing around with any connection you want something here that is balanced something that is going to give you the comfort that you wish they are saying that you're very powerful in the moment and that you are cutting everything that doesn't connect with your values doesn't connect with um, what you find that is fair and good uh, in your life. You are searching for your soulmate. You are searching for your soulmate. You are searching for someone that you can um, really grow something, your counterpart, uh, the, a person that will um, feel like family, will defend the same values as you, and you are ready to cut everything that are not is not resonated with that uh, belief that you have having. You are even ready to cut things out. You're not. You might not even be speaking um, a lot with this person. It can be that you cut your communications, or. Um, it's like they are feeling that you are cold in the moment in the moment or thinking in a very cold way and acting in a very cold way so not just cutting but acting in a very cold way so like knowing the steps that you are taking in a very cold way because they are saying that now you're ready to co-create with the universe you're ready for new things in your life you're ready for manis the manifestations you are ready to tap into your into your intuition. It can be that you are using. They are saying that you are using your knowledge uh, somehow um, to get out of a tough situation, and you are wanting to crown your inner and divine feminine. You are wanting to be creative. You are wanting to be uh, to know more about that side of you that is ready to uh, be full inside of you. That is ready to be expressed. Uh, divine feminine is an energy that is 
so beautiful when you know how to tap in to it's such a first of all is the birth is the mother of everything it, it knows about the cycles it knows about the mystery when to hold the mystery but it's not divine feminine and uh, this is when I don't agree when people talk about the moon um, and related to divine fem feminine as being uh, bringing fears into people because divine feminine in the when is completely uh, dominating that uh, energy is not fearful is trusting is trusting and uh, the moon also brings a lot of uh, hope and uh, is illuminated in illuminating the darkness because it talks a lot about hope so um, when you are integrating that divine feminine completely in inside of you the divine feminine when is expressed well is not fearful is trustful and there is a big difference here when he's trusting is very powerful when you have someone that can tap in the divine feminine in trust and trust at the same time you have a very powerful person because when you see something when you see something it's very easy to believe because it's in front of you you have proofs of it that is divine masculine having things manifested already so that they can see that is divine and masculine but when you cannot see having trust in the cycles in the in life in source itself because divine feminine connects with the, the birth with the source itself even before words and having trust in that when you can tap into that energy and you clearly dominate that energy now you are very very powerful and then you can bring to light uh, many things that are already manifested you can show into light and you can make understand uh, to other per people because inside of us we have the divine feminine and divine masculine but these two they need to be flowing and they need to be uh, in understanding the correct or the right way uh, to flow or because when you understand that what you need to tap when those fears want to arrive is into trust the divine trust the source inside of you trust consciousness itself which is what i believe uh, that we are all are uh, when you learn to tap into that source and trusting in creation now the divine masculine is there to um, be aware of it to be aware of it but it's always in the darkest moments that we are more challenged and it's those dark darkest moments that are going to show us what we need to work what we still need to work work so divine feminine actually makes the divine masculine in us work and when we get, we get into the conclusion that those darkest times we need to trust is, is easier said than done but when you can tap into that trust inside of you and you can live from that well wow, that is that is just magic that is just magic to trust before you see is you know you can you can manifest everything that you want with that energy and it's very difficult and it's very difficult but big manifestors they trust before they see it and when they see it they can celebrate uh, actually they are already celebrating before because if they trust it's like it's already there so they see it and it's, it's a kind of is a process that is not separated because it's going to be like they trust it and they see it trust and see it trust and see it is when you don't trust and you let fears or fears um, really take over you 
uh, then what is going to happen is that you're not going to see because then you need to understand to go to the abundance um, state of mind again. And that abundance state of mind again uh, is a, needs to be trusting, needs to be trusting. So life is going to send you uh, some um, challenges in your life so that you can understand that you cannot create anything from a fearful point of view and state of mind. So it's when, it's when you enter in that divine feminine that is really in their power that you are a strong manifester because you trust, you manifest. Trust, you manifest. And you see it. Trust manifests. Uh, you have knowledge about it. You see it. So this is the, the four big pillars of manifest, manifesting with the elements. All right? So this is what they are saying that you are tapping, you are crowning yourself. So they are saying that you have some research here to do, but you are wanting to crown yourself because um, you want to get out of that lack mentality. You are doing an inner search and follow yourself, not letting be led by others. You are following yourself because you really aim to celebrate in your life, to go after your dreams. Um, your dreams are becoming important for you. You are having more strength to do it. And, um, you know, you're very intelligent, but I, uh, you are very intelligent. You, you really know uh, the steps to take to achieve something. It seems that the situation kind of made you act um, from a point that in general you wouldn't, you wouldn't act that way, but you were forced to use your knowledge, uh, so that you can, could start creating the life that you want. You were forced to use, uh, that powerful, um, knowledge that you have to put an end into a situation. And you are crowning yourself, you're giving yourself the power uh, to go after the emotional stability that you want. And to act from the most precious place that you have, which is your heart sp space. Because, you know, when we go through difficult times in our lives, Sometimes people, they have the tendency to close their hearts. But the most important thing to do is to leave that heart open and to know how to uh, close in the proper time, not before, not before something wrong is shown to us, not before, uh, no, first, when we meet someone, when we use our heart space, because that is coming from a position of abundance. When you close your heart, you are coming from a fearful position. You don't want to be coming from a fearful position. You want to be sharing with people. You want to be sharing your light is having strength, enough strength to preserve that emotional stability so that you can start from there, from there, but at the same time, knowing the steps that a connection needs to have uh, and understanding when you see something that you feel that is not okay for you. And how do you know it? because you will be always connecting with yourself. Again, divine feminine knows how to connect with, your, with themselves before words. That's why I feel, and I'm saying this a lot here in my channel, 
many people are forgetting the divine feminine because we live in the world that we need to have everything in front of our eyes. But before having things in front of your eyes proves of something. There is a connection with self that needs to be there because that connection is telling you that something is wrong, something is off. And even if, of course, then you will need to see it. You need to have the proofs. But you, already, you are already connecting with a certain feeling and trying to understand why that feeling is there. And respecting it, because even if it is because you need time, respect yourself, take time. Uh, and by the way, take time to know the other person. That is, establish a friendship. It's very important to know who is there. A person doesn't show themselves in one or two minutes or in one day or in one date. It's very difficult. What you can feel uh, first, it can be something as a seduction or something like uh, being in a, in, a, in a kind of an enchanted uh, place by the first image, the first impact. But it's very important to be aware and to ask yourself, is this love already? Because there is a big difference between uh, physical attraction and love. And the bond that you, you feel with other person that is love. And that love needs time to develop. Needs time to see who is there. All right. Who and, and even most of the time, uh, time can give you many answers, of course. Um, so relationships, they need time to, to be developed and there is a dance before that happens between two people and, uh, but there is also important to distinguish between two things. Do not uh, make an illusion out of things because one thing is being attracted uh, for one person, another thing is to be in love with one person. Uh, so, two completely different things um, that, uh, and two completely different processes. Now, uh, from, from love, many times th that connection, um, you will feel it. You will feel a security with that person and you will feel that uh, is respectful and um, is, you are both, you both will be agreeing um, with the time of each other. You know, there is this uh, very uh, communicative dance uh, about the times of each other. And if it's not, it's very important for the person um, that is feeling that the, the time is not uh, good right now to go deep into uh, a self travel, you know, a self journey and to see why are you feeling that the time is not good uh, right now. Because when you tap into yourself, you are going to have the answers. But be sure that you are respecting your time. Learn how to respect your time learn how to respect yourself and trust when you're feeling something is off because even if later you are going to see that it was not precisely what you thought first uh, you are going to understand that it was another thing that was making you uh, feel that way and that other thing needed your time needed you to respect that. So that's why when you feel um, resistance towards something, it's time to, to go inwards and to search for the truth of that resistance. Because it all, there is always a reason that, there. Even if it is time for self-healing, for example. All right? So I feel that I'm talking here for a long time and uh, yeah, 
this is what I see here. You are now tapping into yourself. You are following your own beliefs. You are constructing. They are saying that you are building your life the way you wish it. You want to be the emperor of your life and you are doing it. And you are going to use all your resources to do that. And you are not going to allow any little, little inter interference here trying to mess with your energy. You are going towards your dreams. You want to achieve stability. All right. So this is what I have for you, my loves. Let me know in the comments if this resonated. And we are going to see each other next readings. Bye. Hi, my dear pile number three. Welcome to your reading. I hope you're doing well and I hope you will take this time to grab a cup of tea, something that you can relax and listen to your reading at the same time. Let us check together what are they saying uh, about you. Now, first of all, this is a love connection. I can see it clearly. You have love uh, immediately with the first a card and then you have the you know here the venturine which is related to the heart chakra this green um, I feel that green can be a good color for you right now my dears and and I also feel and I never do this I never did this here in my readings I feel that this uh, venturine would be very good for you during these times all right now this person is saying that they really love you all right they they have deep feelings for you and you are their wish fulfillment and um you have these two very big strong cards immediately and um, they are saying that they they want your relation to be very peaceful uh, or to be peaceful because right now it seems that there is a big storm uh, happening uh, between you two there is something here um, perhaps a fight that you had um, something that was not allowing you to tap into the, the abundance that in normally your connection uh, has so probably a fight some information here that went wrong um, and you know, uh, even though that, that confusion, that fight happened, this person is saying that they want to take uh, some action here. Uh, I believe this person is going to, to send you a message soon. So if this person does, please uh, let me know in the comments because uh, I would like to have some feedback. If you like, of course, this is very personal. But if you do remember, please let me know. Because I see here that this person is wanting to, to uh, hear, um, talk to you probably about this misunderstanding, uh, this confusion, this discussion that you had, uh, this very troubled waters. Mm -hmm. Probably you are a lot in your mind. They are saying that you, that you are a lot in your mind. It can be that you too are a, a lot in, in, their, in your minds, you know. And because there is uh, here many mind, a lot of mind and confusion uh, activity here coming up. And this person is wanting here to extend an offer here um, to test the waters, let's say. This person is wanting to test the waters with you to see um, how you would uh, react here, perhaps. To, to talk about this because there will be a message being sent but yeah this message can have something uh, here inside that you are not going to uh, immediately you know when we receive a message and we know the other person is making an effort but for some reason what is being said in that message is not what we really want to listen yeah it's, it's like there is a this turbulence in your connection they are saying that um, communication needs to to come into your connection is needed here 
but it seems that you're not interested in this it seems that right now you, there is some wishes that you were trying to uh, to uh, build and to go after and it seems also that they are saying that the period of suffering that they are going uh, under because this is also is, is a lot about them because they are talking so we can see how uh, they are feeling too they are saying that the suffering is not over yet and it's not over because you are very in this moment in an introspective way and um, you might be trying to understand the situation deeply of uh, what happened here between you two uh, because this is really a fight i'm not seeing why there was this fight but i see that they are saying that you're very defensive in the moment even perhaps acting in ways that in general you wouldn't act so it, they are saying that um, you're not being loving towards them but they are saying that they love you and they are saying that they they would choose you uh, you have twice here the lovers and um, they are saying that you uh, are you are someone that uh, when is we are talking about emotions you know what you want you are very clear about that and probably you had a wish from childhood um, that you really want to concretize in your life and instead of rejecting that dream right now you want to uh, make it real you are embracing it they are saying that you might have some fears but they are always looking at you this person might be uh, looking at your social media a lot they feel that you are their wish fulfillment but something here about an extension of, of this love or how can I say this there is someone here that is not extending their um, actions of love towards the other person it's like they are saying that you are choosing to embrace some wish old wish that you are having you are choosing to go inwards at this time and you are ready to defend yourself no matter what even if you sometimes need to um, act in ways that in normally you wouldn't you are ready to defend that there is here a kind of you not wanting to extend here some uh, cup of love towards the connection it might be that you're going through your inner uh, journey you were you can be, be doing some healing maybe that's why i also talked about the venturine because you might be healing your heart space and now you are you're connecting with your child uh, your child your inner child uh, it might be good for you to start nurturing your inner child take time for that during the day um, even if you you know how do you nurture think about make a list about how would you nurture your inner child it can be for example to see a fantastic movie those kind of movies that all children you know uh, i don't know harry potter or those kind of movies that can really nurture your inner child think about things that you would feel joyful and that will bring you some um you know this connection with your inner child and take time for that and also take time for your self uh, healing to connect with your body to connect with your roots um, for example you can do some meditations with your root chakra and uh, something that is very powerful to connect with the divine feminine the nurturer the the birth giver 
is, um, for example, to, you know, uh, divine feminine is connected with water and water uh, is also connected with childhood and uh, everything that has to do with water is good for you, taking baths, uh, drinking more water, um, yeah, tapping to that emotional side of you that wants to be expressed and wants to be trusted also, uh, wants to be believed in, all right? And wants your care, wants your uh, attention. So when you tap with, with the Divine Feminine, you're also tapping into this um, part of you that needs to be healthy there inside of you so that you can be trustful, that you can uh, move forward and manifest your life. So um, doing activities like that are fun for you might be very good uh, in the moment because I feel that you are healing here your heart space. And uh, don't forget water. Water is an element that is connected with the heart space, is connected with um, uh, childhood also, and with the mother, with mother. Uh, so connecting with that, uh, the, the elements, for example, uh, might be very interesting for you to do. For example, making visualizations with the elements. There are many people that they do it with fire. You can also do it with water, especially when you have some wishes and dream, dreams. You can manifest with a visualization uh, in water. Um, yeah, water element might be very, very important for you. Don't forget that water can have these two sides, can have the side that you are going to trust and comfort and decide that you doubt and you fear. So um, it's very important to see the reflection, trust um, with water, trust, have inner trust, you know, trust that your dreams are going to come true. It's very important to do that uh, when you're doing this kind of processes because this Everything is a symbol in life. Uh, you know, there is this big, uh, let's say, uh, alchemic um, saying that is, how is above is also below. And um, as, above, as, uh, as above, so below. That is how you say it in English. As above, so below. So everything that you do as a ritual, it seems material. For example, connecting with water, it seems material, but is a representation of something that is inwards. That's why the alchemists, they work materials because each material, they are in symbol, a representation of something that is inside of you. So when we work with things outside, and we tap into that, those elements, those representations of everything that is inside, because as above, so below, all right? Everything that you're seeing outside is also inside of you. So when you tap into these elements, take care of you, take time for you, take time for your inner child, take time for your heart, your heart space. Uh, do some yin yoga. Yin yoga is a yoga that is, do, is done very uh, slowly and it's slow because it follows the, the pace of the feminine and the cycles of life and it, it insists a lot in every position and it's slow and steady because this is the message, the, the cycles that... Um, come from nature, the wisdom from nature that the Divine Feminine possesses, all right? And then the Divine Masculine are going to see it and be aware of it. Because Divine Masculine, without the reflection of the Divine Feminine, when it doesn't tap into the, the, their Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine then doesn't see and is not aware. So it's very important to see 
and to be aware of things that are manifested. So we need these two elements working together inside of us. And, you know, when you manifest the, the magic of life from source, from this beautiful creation that is even bigger than any words or any scientific explanation because there are, there are not explanations for everything uh, in the world. There are a lot to know. So creation is bigger than if all languages or all amount of explanations there are in right now in the uh, in our experience already. So when you manifest this and you trust and you see the abundance of manifesting, you tap into creation. When you, can, when you can have knowledge about that, which is coming from this place without words, and you have knowledge from that place without no, uh, words, when you realize that there is a place of creation that is not explained, that is the real wisdom is that that is the real knowledge when you can uh, have knowledge about it because it's evident is in front of you and you are just um, you know celebrating it because it's in front of you is this connection is the connection of people that you know, um, tap into an experience of something like amazing, amazing, because it's just things are happening with us or without us. It's very difficult to explain these things. I do my best, my dear, sorry. And uh, so here in your reading, my loves, um, what I see, and I was talking about this because I really feel that you are in this pro process of um, connecting with your inner child, connecting with your heart. So it might be something that I said that uh, can be useful for you. You are going to see you because you are also tapping into your uh, intuition. And um, that is very important to decide what resonates with you and uh, doesn't resonate with you. But yeah, this is what I'm seeing here, my dears, um, that this person is... Uh, seeing um, and saying about you. This is someone that really has uh, strong feelings about you. But I feel that uh, something with their communication, there's something here with their communication that it might be more defensive. And um, that, that will be something difficult then for you to also open up when something comes already uh, defensive and uh, I s they are saying that you are here going for your wish fulfillment you are perhaps in a very um, hermit mode going inwards thinking about things having knowledge about things gaining knowledge they are also saying that you are acting in a as I told you before, in some ways, probably to protect yourself, that you wouldn't act that way uh, before. It's like they know that you are doing certain things on purpose. It's more like this. But they're saying that you are their wish fulfillment. You are the love of their lives. And they, they I believe they really want to grow old with you. And yeah, I've... I just felt this, all right? So uh, you will see what happened because this is what they are saying. The situation is different. And um, let that your choice is always to tap into yourself first and to try to understand yourself. Take your time. There is no pressures, pressure. There is no pressure, you know, uh, answers are going to come when they need to come and uh, you will be decided, deciding your future always agreeing with your inner self so don't do things uh, that 
they don't connect with your highest truth. So oh, first connect with yourself, heal your heart space, and then see if what you have here is something that you wish. If what you have here is something that you want to have for your future too, because this is what they are saying, but there is another person here that is you. All right. So thank you for very much for being here, my dears. Let me know in the comments if this resonated and we are going to see each other next readings. Bye.